Hello, welcome to Microsoft Azure Cloud Channel. In this module, we will talk about Azure DevOps and what are the tools available in Azure DevOps. And I will show you how to sign up for Azure DevOps and how to create an organization or project collection and how to manage your project and add users to a project or a team and how to manage teams and configure team tools and how to change individual permissions or grant restrict permissions to selected tasks. What is Azure DevOps? Before we talk about Azure DevOps, let's talk about DevOps. What is DevOps? DevOps is the union of people, process, and products to enable continuous delivery of value to our customers. Azure, with Azure DevOps, you can plan smarter, collaborate better, and ship faster with a set of modern dev services. What is Azure DevOps? Azure DevOps provides developer services to support teams to plan, work, collaborate on code de development, and build and deploy applications. Developers can work in the cloud using Azure DevOps services or on-premises using Azure DevOps Server. Azure DevOps Server was formerly named Visual Studio Team Foundation Server, that is TFS. With, with DevOps tools on Azure, teams can implement DevOps practices in each of the application lifecycle phases, plan, develop, deliver, and operate. These DevOps technologies combined with people and processes enable teams to continually provide value to customers. Azure DevOps tools. What are the uh, Azure DevOps tools? Azure DevOps is a suite of services that provides solution for anyone who wants an enterprise grade tool chain. Azure boards, Azure pipelines, Azure test plans, Azure repos, and Azure artifacts. Azure boards delivers a suite of agile tools to support planning and tracking work, code defects, and issues using Kanban and Scrum methods. Azure Pipelines provides build and release services to support continuous integration and delivery of your application. Azure Test, test Plans provides several tools to test your applications, including manual testing and continuous testing. Azure Repos. Azure Repos provides Git repositories or Team Foundation version control for source control of your code. Last one, Azure Artifacts. Azure Artifacts allows teams to, teams to share Maven and PM from public and private sources and integrate package sharing into your CI CD pipelines. Let's talk about each Azure DevOps tool in detail. Azure Boards. Azure Boards deliver a suite of Agile tools to support planning and tracking of work, code defects, and issues using Kanban and Scrum methods. Agile Boards are Agile tools help us plan, track, and discuss our work even with other teams. From Azure Boards, you gain access to Agile tools to support planning and tracking work. Specifically, you can do the tasks like add and update work items, define work item queries, and create status and trend charts based on those queries, manage your product backlog, plan sprints by using sprint backlogs, review sprint tasks, and update tasks through the task boards. Visualize the workflow and update the status by using Kanban boards. 
and manage portfolios by grouping stories under features and grouping features under epics. Next one, Azure Pipelines. Azure Pipelines provide build and release services to support continuous integration and delivery of your application. These will let us build, test and deploy with CI CD that works with any language, platform and cloud. Azure Pipelines provides an integrated set of features to support building and deploying your application. Using pipelines to implement continuous integration and continuous delivery. You can define the steps to take during build and and the triggers that start a build and the release management. Release management supports a rapid release cadence and management of simultaneous releases. You can configure release pipelines that represent your environment from development to production. Run automation to deploy your application to each environment. You can add approvals to confirm that the application has been successfully deployed in an environment. You can create your release manually or automatically from your build. Then track all your releases as they are deployed to various environments. Next one, Azure Touch Plans. Azure Touch Plans provides several tools to test your applications including manual, exploratory testing, and continuous testing. Azure Test Plan supports creating and managing manual tests. With Azure Test Features, you gain access to features like customization of workflows with Test Plan, Test Suite, and Test Case work items and end-to-end -end traceability from requirements to test cases and box with requirement-based test suits, and criteria-based test selection with query-based test suits, reusable test steps and test data with shared steps and shared parameters, browser-based test execution on any platform, and real-time charts for tracking test activity. With Azure Test Plans, you gain access to all these features. Next one, Azure Repos. Azure Repos provides Git repositories or Team Foundation version control for source control of your code. These Azure Repos provide unlimited cloud-hosted private and public Git repos. From Azure Repos, you gain access to your source control, Git-based or Team Foundation version control repositories to support version control of your software project. These repositories are private. From Azure Repos, you can do the task like review, download, and edit files, and review the change history for a file, review and manage commits that have been pushed, review, create, approve, comment on, and complete pull request. And last one, you can do tasks like add and manage Git tags. Last one, Azure Artifacts. Azure Artifacts allows teams to share Maven, NPM, and Nugget packages from public and private sources and integrate package sharing into your CI CD pipelines. Azure Artifacts let us create, host, and share packages. I will show you how to sign up for Azure DevOps and create an organization or project collection and how to manage your project and how to make changes and how to add users to a project or a team and manage teams and configure team tools. And I will show you how to change individual permissions and grant or restrict permissions to selected tasks.
I'm in the Azure portal now. I will go to home and type here Azure DevOps. Say Azure, click on Azure DevOps and go to my Azure DevOps organizations and it will take you to the new window. And here, if you want to create a new project, just click on project. So now I'll just say demo project. And here I'll say just demo purpose and visibility. So with public, anyone on the internet can view the project. With private, only people you give access to will be able to view this project. So for now, I'll just keep it private. Let's click on advanced and then version control. Let's select Git and work item process. Let's choose Azure. Let's create this project. Now we can see the project is being created right now. So if you want to see all projects existing in your DevOps, you can click on Azure DevOps. So right now I have only one project available that is demo project. Now I will click on this demo project or if you want to create a new project in your organization, you can click on, on the right side, you can see a new project, click on new project and you can say demo project two. And this is also it's a demo purpose. And we want to keep it private and we want to select we want to select version control git and work item process agile and create now our second project also creating right now and then let's go to home page so now we have two demo projects so now we have demo project two and demo project now if you want to rename the demo project one to demo project demo project to demo project one. I will show you how to rename this. Click on the project and then go to project settings. And scroll down and click on project settings. And here you can see under the project setting general overview. And here you can say demo project one. And if you want to if you want to change the description, you can say it's demo project one. And if you want to change the visibility, if you want to make it public, you can select it for now. I'll just say private. And then if you want to if you want to add administrator, you can do that. But for now, let's save this one. Now we need to confirm. Let's type demo project one our new name we just rename and then i understand the consequence consequences of renaming this project say now i'll show you how to add users to this project if you want to add administrator to this project click on add administrator and look for the users who you want to make administrator so i don't see anyone so yeah if you want to make this user so this is already exists right now we don't have any users but if you want to add any user as an administrator to this project you can you can add it using this add administrator option and let's go to teams So we have demo project one. So if you want to add any team members, you can add users using this option. You can add users and groups to this project. Uh, you can invite members to the project you want. So if you want invite members to demo project one, you can choose this option. Let's say learning path solution. So since this user is already direct 
member of this group so but i don't have any users available but you can add users using this option if you want to change the permissions if you want to change the permissions to the users you can use this here let's say just reader so let's say do we have any members we don't have any members so now i want to add a member so i want to add this learning uh, the global administrator that is learning post solutions that's me so i want to invite members to readers group so if you want to change the permissions you can delete team project not set so this is like you know you can say hello and save now this group can delete the team project but so this is how you can change the permissions using these options even in the other azure tools boards you can see here azure boards and azure repos azure pipelines azure test plans azure artifacts but i will go or i will go in detail about this azure devop tools in the next next video sessions but i just want to show you how to create a project in this demo this is how you can change it let's go back and permissions if you want to add contributor you can choose these permissions you can deny if you want to if you want this group if you want this group not to delete not to delete the projects you can set this permission deny and if you want to receive any notifications you can go to notifications and you can select the state just turn off build completes and type so you can set up a delivery settings using deliver to individual members or you can choose deliver to email address you can just enter the group email or you can just say do not deliver to anyone you can just save it next one dashboard you can do the fall uh, you can do the task like add configure and manage dashboards configure widgets that you add to dashboards and quickly navigate to different areas of your project you can do these tasks using dashboards and let's go to project configuration in agile boards if you want to add sprints you can click on here just set dates iteration one if you want to just choose the date like and then let's say two weeks time june 3rd and then june 17 and then location demo project one you can save and close it these iterations will be used by teams for iteration planning that is sprint planning and if you want to connect to the Git, github you can you can connect to your github account just click on it and you need to enter your sign in details username and password so this is how you create the projects in azure devops if you want to delete once you are done with project if you want to delete the project just go to home and click on the project which you want to delete let's say demo project one if you want to delete demo project one and go to project settings on the left side go to project settings and scroll down and you can see at the end of the web portal you can see delete project so just click on delete project and you need to type the project name This is how you can delete the project. It just takes a couple of minutes. Now the project is deleted. So if you have any questions on Azure DevOps, creating projects on the permissions, uh, how to manage your project and how to add users to your project, please post it in the comment section. If you like this video, please subscribe and share the channel. Thank you.